too late to get on the bus and head over to check out the cities along the Ruta de los Flores so we just walked down um, the route of the flowers to this spot called Entre Nubes. It's a beautiful restaurant. Um, there's a little indoor spot to eat, cafe section. There's like four different sections to this place um, and there's a gorgeous garden out here with all of these giant blooming hydrangeas. Um, and right now, it doesn't quite smell like flowers because it smells like roasting coffee. Uh, the smells delicious out here. I think they have a bunch of um, coffee plants in the back and they, they grow and roast their own coffee here. Golden or Pilsner? Which local El Salvadorian beer will win are you for the taste test? <laughs> let's do it. I haven't tried the golden yet. Okay, so let's try the Pilsner. I've had plenty of this already. Mmm, delicious and light. Uh-huh. The golden. <laughs> Definitely more of a kick. Oh, really? Yeah, it has a little bit more bitter in it. Huh. But still, they you know, both they're look, both really light beers. They both look super light. Yeah, Central America is all about right here. Uh-huh. My turn. Uh, what Megan likes better. She's trying the golden first. Not bad. Not bad, right? Yeah, I haven't tried this one yet. Yeah, the golden has a little bit more flavor and the Pilsner settles. It's like beery water, watery beer. Watery beer for sure. But which one do you like better? You know, I, I was I was hesitant to say it, but I think I like the golden better too. Golden wins. Found a couple. It was time to go. Where are we going, baby? So we are going to a taco. Um, our Airbnb is kind of right off of the Ruta de los Flores, but it's not in any of the main towns. So we are taking the local chicken bus into the town of. Almost there, it's pretty close. Only 25 cents a person. So the public bus ride was really quick. We got here in like 15 minutes from our Airbnb. And we were just entering five minutes from our Airbnb. He was driving pretty quick. It was a very short ride. Um, we are right along the Ruta de las Flores, the route of the flowers here in El Salvador. And we are walking into the town of Ataco. We've been told that there is a culinary festival every weekend. And we're gonna go uh, see what uh, food we can find. This town is pretty well known for its street art. It started in 2004. There was like a government sponsored competition to uh, who had like the most lively, like beautiful, exciting town. Uh, this town along the Ruta de los Flores decided to enter that competition and so during 2004 like local artists and everyone, uh, shop owners, whoever, came out into the town and uh, tried to decorate the whole thing, fill it with street art, lots of decoration, so we're hoping to see a lot of that today. I love street food, I love the food process here, I love the, street, the food culture here. So 
course, we're at a food festival. Part of that's eating some food. Megan got some gringas. These are the ones. That, these are the gringas. She said the gringas have more like guacamole and beans in them, and the quesadillas are just cheese. Gabe's meal has arrived. Oh, Jesus, look at this! Look at this beautiful feast. Got the little tiny onions. Got ten huge medium-sized shrimp. Got half a quarter avocado. That's impossible. Damn, that shrimp looks super well seasoned. And of course. <laughs> Making friends with all the local cuties. Some more over here. This lady's probably probably got to get some back pain or something, right? Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, I'm saying it sucks. It's, it's rough. <laughs> it's just like the emoji. <laughs> These are folkloric uh, characters here in El Salvador. From here, and if you want to just come spend the day, that's totally doable. It's so easy, it's relatively safe, it's super chill and colorful and beautiful here. There's lots of awesome places to eat and get food, tons and tons of crafts and artwork. And from what I heard from people around us talking, a lot of regional tourists from other parts of Central America and from other parts of El Salvador actually come here as well. You know, Chris and Marianne from Tread the Globe said, don't skip El Salvador. And I'm afraid to say they're right. Don't skip El Salvador. Not at all. Definitely worth coming here. El Salvador is a beautiful country. Thanks for the tip, Chris and Marianne. Gracias. public transportation in El Salvador. Uh, the chief way to get around is actually a series of private buses. Uh, they're old U.S. school buses that have been remade uh, to be go to go from town to town and within each town. We're currently on the 249 bus, which goes from Ahuachapan to the city of Sonsonate, which stops in Huayua, so we have to get out in Huayua. Uh, this bus actually goes through the majority of the Ruta de las Flores, the route of the flowers. And it costs only 50 cents. So La Ruta de las Flores actually gets its name from these uh, beautiful white flowers that bloom on coffee plants. That usually happens around May um, in, in springtime here. So we're not quite in the season for it. It's, it's November right now. Um, but we are seeing plenty of wildflowers along the route. Just not the, the white flowers that the route is known for. So. We have made it to Huayua, and the first thing I've noticed is that it is much warmer down here. We have uh, certainly descended in altitude. The ride was mostly a downhill ride. Much hotter down here. You Central America, the 
center of life and, and culture is always found in the central park, the central square in town. Um, and it's usually always right next door to the church. Uh, so today we've come out to Guayua and we are walking towards the Central Park where they have the Feria Gastronomica. Town life, you gotta love the town life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've come across a very impassioned singer right here. That's some damn good evangelizing right there. Really wish you guys could smell this right now. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. This street food culture here in El Salvador is unparalleled. I mean, maybe on par with like, Malaysia or something, but like the street food culture here, the variety, the freshness, the very fair prices, the sweets, the seafoods, the meats, the pupusas, the tortillas, whatever you're looking for, it's here. El Salvador has awesome food. You have to come on the weekend though. Every weekend in a taco and in Playua. I'm assuming all over El Salvador. Huge street food. This is something, this is different level street food. Think of a quesadilla, it's like ubiquitous with, Amer with uh, Mexican food. It's a tortilla filled with cheese and beans and whatever. But in El Salvador, quesadilla means something completely different. Check it out. Take a bite, Megan. Tell us what you think. Oh, wow. Give me, give me a bite. Oh, yeah. I'm it's a fan. almost both sweet and savory. It's very good. The middle is really soft, but the outside has like a, a like slightly crunchy, tender crust. Very good. I like it. Fan those, of the quesadilla. Those would be great for breakfast with some cafecito or something. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. 